स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खुलेंगे मैथ्स का पिटारा पहुंचाएंगे पॉलिनोमियल्स के डलक मैं हूं अमित मोदक टू मॉन्स राइट ऑन द चैट बॉक्स ढोल एंड दस ढोलक बीट्स विल मेक यू एनर्जाइज टू डू द क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू डेज सेशन दैट इज ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स and this would be of your grade 7 and 8 so if you have not subscribed the channel students please do subscribe the channel it's very very important to get the notifications of all the videos getting uploaded on this amazing fantastic channel and also do share with your friends relatives they will be also get lot of benefit from here so all right so students moving on to the first question of today's class that's factorize 5 root 5 x square plus 20x plus 3 root 5 today we are going to practice the questions of your nmtc as you all know nmtc is a very renowned exam in india it's being conducted by all the mathematics teachers association all right let's see what's the answer of this 5 root 5 x square plus 20 x plus 3 root 5 so we have to factorize this quadratic expression so we will do the middle term so for doing the middle term what we have to do is we have to think of this product of 5 root 5 and 3 root 5 is 75 now we have to think that 20 that the middle term has to be splitted in such a way that if we take that two numbers we will get the product as 75 and if we add them we get a 20 as a number wise if we say the numerical value we should get the 20 on adding or subtracting and on the product we get a 75 so we can take the lcm of 75 it gives us 5 ones are 5 fives are 25 5 3 is 50 so 5 5 and 3 we can take multiple options let's see in which case we can get the 20 so if i take 5 into 5 25 and 3 so we can get the product as 75 if we are taking 25 and 3 but we will not get the sum as 20 if i take 5 3 is 15 and 5 yes 15 5 is 75 15 plus 5 is 20 so what we will do is 5 root 5 x square we will write here 15 x plus 5 x plus 3 root 5 now from 5 root 5 x square plus 15 x we can take as 5 x common so what is left root 5 x plus 3 here we can take a common one so we can take a common root 5 instead of 1 we can take root 5 so it is left with root 5 x plus 3 so what we can get here this part is common so we can take common root 5 x plus 3 so what we get is 5 x plus root 5 so these are the two factors of this expression these are the two factors of this expression let's move on to the next question students factorize x square plus x to the power whole square plus 4 bracket x square plus x bracket close minus 12 factorize this part click on the pause button solve it and then verify when i complete it okay let's solve it so few of you might be thinking sir how we will do this x square plus x x square so let me give you a something a hint which will make you help here we can consider let's say x square plus x let's say we are considering as a t so we can simplify as t square plus 4t 
minus 12. Now it is easier, right? We can do the middle term once again. Now we can think of the two numbers which can be multiplied so that we get a minus 12 because 1 into minus 12 is minus 12 and they can be added or subtracted to get a 4. Now we can think of 12, okay? 1 into 12 but we cannot get a 4, okay? 2, 6 are 12, yes. We can take plus 60 minus 2t. So that 6 into 2 into minus 2, we get minus 12 and 6 minus 2 is 4 with the positive also. So we are getting the middle term also. So t can be taken as common. So t plus 6 minus 2 we can take common. So t plus 6. So ultimately we are getting t plus 6, t minus 2. But this is not our answer, right? Because we have been asked in terms of x. So what we'll do, we'll just replace. Pehle jaisa tha, waisi isko place kar denge. Plus 6 ho gaya. x square plus x minus 2. Now we can think of ki x square plus x plus 6. Ye to middle term 6. Kya hoga? Nahi. Kya iska middle term kar sakte hai? Minus 2. Yes, we can do the middle term of it. 2x minus x minus 2. So, we will get the terms like this. x plus 2 or ek jaga x minus 1. Okay. So, this is how we can get the answer of this. So, very well done students. Alright, moving on to the next question. Factorize 27x cube minus 8y cube minus 54x square y plus 36xy square. In all these questions, if you are clear about your identities, then this is going to be very easy, so super easy for you. But the thing is, you should have a very good concept of your identities. And such kind of questions are being asked in the previous year in your NMTC exams. Alright, let's do this. 27x cube. Now, from this, this part, we should get a hint. Anna? That 27 is basically a cube of 3x. And 8 with the minus sign, we get a hint that minus 2y whole cube can be answer of your minus 8 cube or 8y cube. Here, we will apply 3a square b. So, that means 3x whole square into b plus 3ab square because we are using the concept of a plus b whole cube. Right? So, we are using 3a b a square b, 3ab square. All right. So, what we are getting ahead that, okay, it's a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. And that is what we get that this is basically 3x minus 2y whole cube. That means 3x minus 2y is being multiplied three times. And these are the factors. Okay. Chalo, very well. Next question. Prove that. Very nice question. Prove that a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to half of a plus b plus c bracket a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square bracket close. How we will prove it? Shut up. Click on the pause button and do it. And try to get that whether you are able to prove it or not. Alright. Let's do it. So, what we have to do is we have to prove the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Okay. 
So to prove we have to do is like on the left hand side we have a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. Okay. Now we have a formula that a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is equal to a formula called as a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. This is a formula we have got. Now, but we require this right and again a half is there. So, what we can do? We cannot get a half here, but what we can do is kya kar sakte? half multiply. Ab half multiply karte hai, so we need to make it con uh, we make uh, we need to make it a neutral. So what we will do if I am multiplying 2, I will also multiply 2 with this whole part. Okay. So that the effect doesn't change. Okay. Now, what I can do is half A plus B plus C. This part we have got. Ab bacha ye wala part. Is pe dhyan dege kaise a sakta hai. So, if I put this 2 multiplied by every term of this. So, 2A square. 2A square plus 2B square plus 2C square minus 2AB minus 2BC minus 2CA. Now, we get an idea that, okay, so if we have this part, we can break down this a square, we can use this a square two times. So, a square will bring minus 2ab closer to it, to bring it a minus b whole square and will bring b square close to this. Similarly, to bring b minus c whole square, I will take b square here minus 2bc plus c square. Similarly, c square minus 2ac plus a square. And this is how we get a plus b plus c, a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square. And this is how we have proved it. Okay. So, very good question. You should be able to do the proofs also. And you must practice the proofs again. Alright. Now, students, I have something very interesting for you. As you all are always waiting for your Olympiad exams every year and for that not only Olympiads for all such competitive exams you can prepare yourself through amazing courses going on at Vedantu for level 4, level 5, level 6 and so on. So for the grade 5, 6 Olympiad Math Mastery OMM Level 4 is going to start from 6th October, that's Friday. And on the weekly part, two days classes are going to be there, Friday and Saturday. And you see the highlights on this OMM course, you are going to get total lectures of 40, then 8 part test, 2 full tests, daily assignment, video solutions, video solutions of the tests, Telegram group for the doubt solving and the time for this would be 7 to 8 and your teacher would be your Amit Mohan sir. So, if you are not at grade 5 and 6, you can also share this with your juniors, you can share with your relatives, you can share with your all known person who can get the benefit of this amazing course. And this is for very limited time period. Right now, if you apply the coupon code of mine, Amit K, you will get a discounted price of only 7000 instead of 7777. So, jaldi karo. Link is in the description.
All right. Moving on, students, to the next question. What must be subtracted from x cube minus 6x square minus 15x plus 80 so that the result is exactly divisible by x square plus x minus 12? What must be subtracted from this part so that we get the result exactly divisible by this much? So, let us solve it. x square plus x minus 12. Now, what we will do? We will divide it. x cube minus 6x square minus 15x plus 8. So, first of all, x cube we want. So, x square multiplied by x. So, we get x cube. Now, plus x into x, it gives you plus x square. Minus 12 into x gives you minus 12x. I will change the sign as it is a subtraction. So, this get cancelled. Minus, six min uh, minus 6x square minus x square minus 7x square minus plus minus so 15 minus 12 is minus 3x plus 80 all right now minus 7x square so what we can get x square multiplied by minus 7 so we get a minus 7x square now plus x into minus 7 it gives you minus 7x and minus 12 into minus 7 is positive 84. So, plus, plus, minus. So, this get cancelled. Plus 7 minus 3 that is positive 4x minus. So, this is the remainder we are getting. So, this is the extra part. So, what must be subtracted? So, 4x minus 4 should be subtracted to get it divided by completely by x square plus x minus 12. All right. Okay, students. Let's move on to the next question. Now, for this question, simplify a plus b whole cube plus a minus b whole cube plus 6a bracket a square minus b square. I am going to give you this as homework. So, you will be writing the simplification whatever you get on the comment box and I will be waiting for your reply on the comment box. So, again I am reiterating if you have not subscribed the channel please do subscribe this channel and also share with your friends. Okay then, see you in the next video. Thank you students. Bye-bye.